Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another music reaction. This is for Pop Evil, the song is called Set Me Free. Um, they have four studio albums to this day. Uh, my favourite is still the first one, Lipstick on the Mirror. I think every song on that is incredible. Um, and they have a song called Shine Down. And my, one of my favourite bands is Shine Down. So I, I just love that, the comparison of all of those bands. Um, but yeah, I've not. I've seen some people react to the song. I know it came out a while ago, but it took me a while to get to it. So here we go. Set me free, pop people. Looking forward to it. Let's go. Far away, so far below, all the demons inside of me. because obviously it was sort of like a somber kind of saying. I will say he's another one of the best vocalists on the planet right now. Jesus, I have so many, and he's one of them as well. Um, but I wasn't sure where it was going, and then that one uh, ref kicked in, and holy hell, we were off to the races. The visualizer was very cool as well. I'm getting lost in the moment on that, as well as the music. Um, we went back to the normal, um, what they started doing recently. Um, I have to say that last album, um, which I think was self-titled, um, it had a very, the way he would rap on it, it had a very, I'm not saying like them, but had a very Rage Against the Machine feel, like that kind of rap, um, kind of going back and forward, very cool, very fucking cool. Um, and then obviously into the melodic chorus, which is very cool. Um, the, the, the highs and lows are incredible, like going from something like that into a very melodic chorus and back into that. It works so well and it shouldn't, and it really shouldn't, but it does when bands make it work. Um, the ref is very memorable, I'm already remembering it right now, the drums are on point, the bass is on point, but that guitar riff, holy fuck, I love it. The, um, it's hard to find a guitar riff nowadays that stands out because as it's not against everybody on guitar, but you've got amazing guitarists like Matt Tremonti and uh, Sinister Gates, and honestly I think most of the guitar styles that could be discovered at this point in time have been discovered. Um, sure there's going to be people who discover new things all the time, but for like, for riffs, you you are going to hear some semblance of stuff that you've had before, which isn't a bad thing, because like, as I said, you can only do so much. Um, but this riff is standing out to me in its own uh, wave and in its own column, and um, I love it. I fucking love this. The song's awesome. I love when um, what a bridge technically becomes at the start is just the last chorus or last verse and it gets stretched out and they add more lines to it and it just sounds like it's meant to be. 
the ref is still catching me. I'm honestly mesmerized by the song. The visualizer definitely helps as well, but the song, wow, I'm getting lost in the moment. It's been a while since Pop Evil released something, so I'm very I'm very glad to see they're still around. Um, but yeah, fantastic so far. The vocals are incredible, as always. Uh, he's got this tone that he can go to that a lot of people can't reach for me, um, and it is very fucking good. The drums are incredible, but that guitar riff, honestly, is the star of the show, as well as his vocals. But for me, because I'm a guitar guy, that is the star of the show, 100%. I love when songs do something like that and then they slow right down and almost go acoustic. It's not acoustic, it's just a clean guitar um, with no gain. But when it has that like part of it that's part of the bridge and it breaks the song apart and then we come back to what we've known through the rest of the song, it's very unique, it's very memorable, it's very cool. Not a, not a lot of bands do it because not a lot of bands can actually perform that kind of stuff. And it's incredible to see a band that can. It's, this is awesome. Okay everybody, so that was my reaction to Pop Evil Set Me Free. Um, that song is incredible. Um, as I say, Pop Evil haven't released anything since, don't quote me on this, 2017? I might be 100% wrong, I can't remember when the last album came out because it feels like we've got to wait two years and one year because of the uh, pandemic. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, fantastic song. That riff at the start very much opened the doors. And then the bass, I have to say, in the middle stood out big time. The drums are incredible anyway, um, but as far as like everything else, the bass actually came away as the start of the show in the middle because it was so prominent. Um, the e guitar was definitely one of them as well, and obviously the vocals are incredible. The way you can go from that sort of Rage Against the Machine style of rap to very melodic chorus choruses, and they really shouldn't work together, but it, he makes it work, and it's incredible. It works with the music. Pop Evil started off quite, they didn't start off as heavy as this. Um, they were very mellow. There was a song called 155, um, and it is a, it's a ballad, but it's a very good fucking song. And that, that was more, that was the first song I heard from them. So when I heard some of the newer stuff, I was like, oh wow, this is a big evolution. Um, so yeah, like this band is incredible. And I will leave the link for this song down below and the visualizer because I'm gonna watch that on its own when I'm not being recorded because I was having fun with that. That was so cool. Um, I don't know why I get lost in visualizers sometimes. I just do. And some bands know how to do visualizers properly and some don't, which is fair because a lot of bands aren't about music videos. It's about the music. And to me, it's all about the music too. But when it's an accompanying music video or visualizer that works, it works. Um, I will leave that down below. I will also leave a link to all their other stuff on YouTube down below as I do with every other video so you can check out everything for Pop Evil. They have four albums. Put them on in the background and just listen to them. You'll have a good fucking time. But that was Set Me Free by Pop Evil. I very much enjoyed the fuck out of this song. Cannot wait if there's an album on the way. I hope there is. Um, this band doesn't usually release singles if they're not releasing an album. And if I can find any pre-order information, that'll be down below as well and I suggest you go and buy it because you'll be doing yourself a favour and you'll be helping out an incredible band. But that was Pop People Set Me Free and I thank you for watching. Like and subscribe and hit the notification bell to let you know when the next reaction is out and I will see you next time. Goodbye.